the large. What about the medium? Look. I need a medium, look, bro. You, if I can't fit into a medium, you can't fit into a medium. Well, I can fit in a medium. This is Sean McMackie Fag. Hey! Make attack Mac. Can you take my picture? You're taking it. Look at that. Take my picture. Yeah. All right, all right. It is your favorite Cat 3 with a dad bod. We are back for like week five of the DFW Summer Series Elite Mountain Bike Race. I decided this week to have a better start. And guess what? I did. We had some random dudes coming down the hill the wrong direction here. That could have been sketchy, but I take the inside line like I always do. And guess what? I got the whole shot. Um, my gosh, what is his name? The 17 year old that whooped up on me last week was back for more. Um, yeah, so I knew he was right there. He almost looked like he was jacking with us. And so I did not want to be first here, but I was. I could feel him right there. I could see his shadow. So I kind of like let off here. I let him come by and he waves. Look at that. Waves at the camera as he drops by at like 600 watts. That dude is crazy strong. But I'm in the trail here in second place. I am totally good with this, y'all. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable here. I know that I think um, Tom Young is behind me, another super strong local dude. And so I feel comfortable here. Anyway, I'm following him, trying to stay as close as I can. I was in my mind. I'm like, you know what? I am staying on his will as long as I can. And so that is my goal. I'm going to let him drag me around. I'm going to stay motivated with a carrot in front of me and just do some work. My heart rate's already almost 160. I've got cotton mouth because it's 100 degrees outside. I need water desperately. But, uh, yeah, I cannot take my hands off the bars here because we're just going. Look at him get some air. He jumps there. He does it again here. Look at that. That one made the thumbnail, I think. And he does it again there. Um, but we bombed this hill here on that... Uh, reinforced berm and I am just happy to still have him in my sights so anyway while I'm following him around real quick quick plug DFW summer series McKinney Texas Irwin Park this is some of the best weekday mountain bike racing in Texas I'll be honest I don't know of another weekday mountain bike race series in the summer if there is there's no way it's as cool as this one i get to crit race at least i probably should be crit racing every week and i get to mountain bike race every week i absolutely love having the opportunity to do this super thankful to uh, sean mcafee and the dfw series racing crew for putting this on go google their races they are extremely family friendly have a beginner intermediate expert uh single speed e-bike and female category so y'all Check it out along with their awesome kids races. Believe it or not, I'm still in second place. I looked to my right here and I noticed, okay, we've got a little bit of a gap, um, which is good. So we're riding away a little bit and uh, I can still keep first in my sights here. So this is a win so far. I also realized maybe he's just messing with me. I'm not sure he's going 100% because he's jumping off this. Watch this. He jumps there. Like Clearly he's just having a good time. I'm tacked out at 162 beats a minute. I get too much higher, and I'm going to be in trouble. But I'm okay with that. I use these races as training. Um, while I want to win and or podium, I am super happy happy, happy with the training value of these races. Really, there's just awesome training. It's like VO2 max. You know, It's like doing basically FTP efforts for an hour. And so you really can't simulate this anywhere else. I have edited a ton of this video out. I think the whole video itself is now down to like 11 and 10 minutes. 11 and 10 minutes? 11 minutes, 10 seconds. Sorry, it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I gotta be at work early. Um... So here I'm noticing a little bit of a gap is opening, but I look behind me maybe at some point and there's no one right there near me, so... Yeah, I, I'm just, my goal again is to stay, is keep him in my sights, and hopefully if I get an opportunity to, to gain on him, I will. What ends up happening is um, I stay with him basically the entire first lap, 
Um, the second lap, I start to notice gaps are opening. We get caught up behind some e-bikers and or maybe a beginner racer. I'm not sure. Um, but we get caught up behind some folks and end up having to make some uh, sketchy passes. But overall, you know, uh, super good, smooth, safe racing out here. I have a love-hate relationship with this section of the course. It's like up and down. You kind of go up this and then back down and then up it and then back down. It's just not a lot of flow. Which is just that mountain bike life, I guess. I don't even know what flow is. I'm just making these words up because I'm a crit boy and I don't know anything about mountain biking. Oh yeah, this guy picked a horrible day to go trail running. So I politely shout at him that I'm coming up behind him. <clears throat> Alright, I still got him in my sights. This is good. I'm really trying hard there to like gain when I can. Um, and I notice sometimes in a few of the corners if I just dive it nice and tight, like I'm able to kind of move up a little bit. Um, really push my bike handling skills to the limit. You know, second and third laps, I worked really hard to, um, you know, find good lines. Worked hard on that. So here, I think I'm behind an e-biker. That may have been an e-biker. Not sure. Anyway, we jumped to 17 and a half minutes. So we are halfway through the second lap now. Uh, this is a section I'm normally pretty bad at because I'm on a hardtail. Um, but I noticed right here that uh, first place is like the second wheel up there. Well, he squeezes by here in a minute, but I'm behind this e-biker. These are actually two e-bikers, I think. But anyway, now he is riding away for sure because I'm kind of stuck be behind these two dudes. No way I'm passing these two guys in this section. So I am losing precious ground. But I know good and well I probably wasn't going to catch first anyway. And he knew it, I'm sure. E-biker there maybe went for the pass but didn't. And we end up getting him here. We're getting into this open field section. <laughs> uh, Alright, I get by him there. And now we're in an open field section. He's on an e-bike. Oh, barely pedaling. <laughs> but I'm like, man, I have an e-bike behind me too. I'd passed one. He catches back up to me, and I felt bad for, like, look how fast I'm going. For I didn't want to slow the e-bike down, so it was very motivating to keep my speed up, having the e-bike behind me. And so, anyway, I try, I just use the e-bikers as a carrot. So, jumping forward, 45 minutes into this bad boy. This is my last lap. <coughs> I am done. I'm still in second place in the elite race. So, so happy with that. Um, I, I couldn't ask for much more. My mountain bike skills are really getting better. I'm getting more confident. Um, you know, I've worked on my starts. I say I worked on my starts. I just started more aggressive this week, and it really paid off that I was able to stay on first wheel that much longer. Um, I hope Ben, uh, I think Ho Camp comes back out, so I'd love to race him now that I'm feeling more comfortable. Um, I think I would have been significantly more competitive with uh, him uh, if he'd been out there. You know, I'd love to see Steve and Kenny out here. Uh, I'd love to race those dudes because they're super strong as well. Well, at least one of them. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't kill me. Please let me stay with you still at uh, Little Sugar. All right. Beautiful sunset. Sweat all over the camera because I am sweating like a fat kid in Tahiti. It is brutally hot. I am absolutely wasted. Heart rate's creeping into the 170s, which is awesome. Again, excellent training value. But I was super pumped, like, was second. I was kind of excited at this point. These guys were super respectful. Pulled off the trail. Love this section. Just diving down this right here. Horrible little climb out of here, though. I mean, man, when you are just gassed, this is the absolute worst. Heart rate couldn't be much higher and have me breathing. But yeah, 
super, super awesome racing. So, um, again, thanks to the DFW Series for uh, putting this on. Sean McAfee, you rock, dude. Hey, guys, if you all have any questions about mountain, ra mountain bike racing, man, leave some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. If you'd like to see any more videos about mountain biking or mountain bike racing, you know, let me know. I'd love to do some more videos about this. Even thinking about a series like Intro to Mountain Bike Racing, where I talk about some of the tactics and uh, things like that. I'd love to see some more people out here. Um, if you got any questions, like I said, Google DFW Series Racing, McKinney, Texas, Irwin Park, and uh, check it out. So, anyway, um, had a new fan come out this week. Jesse, if you're watching the video, dude, super happy you got to race. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. I think I've put a uh, podium pick in here for you of me up in second place. And then also we had uh, redfamilyphoto.net come out and take some pro photos. There's that podium shot. Congrats to uh, my buddy, Mr. Young, as well. There's that awesome photo they took of me back in the woods. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe. I'm getting out of here. See you on the next one. Later, y'all.